Hello, Internet! This is Lord Mad Dog, and we are playing Starcom Nexus! Yeah! All right, so last time we went farther out into this unknown sector of space. We found some discoveries that enabled us to jump across large space regions, um, some type of gyroscopic thing. We've also updated our ship, uh, made contact with a new alien race named Sarudi. Sarati, Sarudi? I'm not quite sure. They're a group of lizard, peaceful lizard people. Have you ever heard of that? Peaceful lizard people. Yes. Okay. Because our main enemies is the Clitic, which is a non-peaceful race of insects. Go figure. <laughs> okay. So let's go ahead and start off right where we left off last time. Last time we finished surveying this system right here. And we're now about ready to go through another rift to go to another system. Oh, here. This, oh, that's right. This one guy, he, these guys also told us about a base. I apologize for if my manner of s seems distracting. I have been f fiddling reports of uh, click attack attacks all day. Still, our government lacks the courage to act. I think you mentioned that the base is near 12.7. Okay, an X. And again, not that you should involve yourselves in this. Merely thought you might wish to know how to avoid it. So 12, 6, minus 6, 8. So let's go ahead and actually... Was there anything you wish to discuss? We'll be on our way. So... <gasps> um, can I reload? How'd that happen? Uh, I did not do that. They just blew up. Oh, hopefully that didn't count. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Wow, that was bad. They just, no doubt the game would call, tell, say that I blew them up, but I know I didn't blow them up. It just the game kind of blew them up because they ran into me. I didn't take any damage, so yeah, I don't know. That was weird. This is still early, early beta. <laughs> okay, so let's go up to this place. I have to turn back on my thrusters here. And if I remember right, there's nothing here. I'll just no anomalies detected. Yes, all right. So they were talking about 12... So how can I see, how can I, can I see coordinates? 12 minus 6. 12 Don't sell me how, okay, so right now I'm at 7. So I'm not anywhere near it. Right? It doesn't actually tell me. Oh, okay, Co coordinates cursor. Oh, there we are. Where's minus 6? So, okay, it's down. Was it 12? Minus 6, so it's way down here. Minus 6, it's down here somewhere. All right. All right, that's good to know. Can we actually see um, the logs, mission logs? 12, yep, and minus 6, 8, so 6, 8, right here, oh no, 12, 6, 8, right in this area, well that's um, decent far away from us, we're not anywhere near getting there, so that's good to know, I was actually going to try to go straight for it, but I can't, I can't, let's go ahead and, there we go, I guess eventually our these warp things will lead us in that direction. I'm not going to try to go there straight off the bat, that's for sure. Here we go. Scan. No hostiles detected. I mean, nothing detected. Oh, hostiles. Oh, these little guys. Yeah, I've upgraded. You stand no chance against me now. Well, actually, you're a bit faster than I can hit for some reason. Why am I not being able to hit you? There. Bad shot. And... Ooh. Yay! 
Oh, give me some resources. Yes. Um, one titanium. Gee, that's so useful. My closest one is 500 to star. Yeah, I just go. I'm gonna go right to left. Left to right, actually. Ooh, we got more enemies coming in. Incoming Kuthkirk. Ooh. And wait, can I talk to you? We do not. We wish to make amends. Yeah, you're not. That's not gonna happen. Yeah, I can't help it. It's not my fault. Whee! But I don't mind having somebody blow up. That's the fun part about space travel. In games, at least. I don't think it'd be fun in real life. That'd be disastrous. Okay. No surface detected. Unobvious detected. Alright. Let's fly over this direction. And take out this hostile that ran past us. Yeah, come here, you. Ah. Oh. Alright. You just... Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> if we were, to, if they would al actually allow us to make men's, it'd be costing a lot of money to make amends. Because we just destroyed a lot of their stuff. Now you're like, why would you destroy a cargo ship? Because it won't let me access survey if the cargo ship is anywhere near me for some crazy reason. Even if the cargo ship has no weapons. I originally started not destroying cargo ships, but ooh, that was bad. That was a bad, bad. Coming more attacks. More guys. This place is starting to get heavier and heavier with these enemies. Mm. They're scared. Cliff Kirk scouts don't work very well. Cliff, Cliff Dick. And incoming more. Oh, another one of these guys. Big feathers. And um, crunch. Boom. Alright. There we go. Five gold, seven gold. That's actually a pretty good deal. Here we go. Cannot do it when hostile is near. Yeah, see, this is what I was talking about. It's only a cargo ship, but you have to destroy it. Does not give you a choice. Okay. And there's another one up there. There we go. Finally do a research. Ooh, the survey team easily locates the anomaly detected from orbit several chunks of scattered debris contain titanium and urethium. Any markings albeit alleviate off during atmospheric entry, but metallurgic analysis shows that whatever it was made was made by Starcom fabricators. Oh, Starcom fabricators. Oh, that means that there's somebody else in the area. Go oh, another one of those guys. Oops, we went past, flying past them at extreme speeds. Come here. Stop running away from me. Do -do 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 -do. Ah. One titanium. Gee. And boom, another one destroyed. Uh. Okay, so we've got one anomaly left up here. So let's go ahead and scan it. Then we can go up to the next section. And it's got another anomaly. It's got a couple of anomalies up, up there. The three above us. Hey! So far, we've only had been able to go one direction. What was once likely a capital city of this planet is slowly being reclaimed by nature. It appears that this was a nuclear age civilization that succumbed to the secrets of the atom. The lander flyover shows evidence of a planet-wide war, war fought with fusion weapons and neutron bombs. Whoa. <laughs> there are a few scattered spots like this one with radiation levels low enough to allow brief exposure. Near the city, the team finds a massive abstract sculpture celebrating the achievements of its vanished creators. It is full of irony, also quite a bit of titanium. <laughs> Salvage the titanium? No, leave the sculpture intact out of respect for the loss of this civilization. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. And let's head up here. See, so make sure we got everything in this area. 
Yep, we've scanned all of them. We have not gone through that, but we'll come back and go through it here in a sec. Let's keep going. This is a pretty well-made game, I think. I don't know how much of a uh, storyline it actually has, but I've been enjoying it pretty well so much so far. Ooh, escape, um, X. How to thrust disengage, my bad. Uh, X. And survey. Another lifeless moon-like planetoid, like the last one. It has some small deposits of plutonium scattered around impact craters. That one I says nine. The one before it only had three. So that's three times the other one. Not that I really need it, though. Ooh, did we gain any research for flying by that, Jason? Guess not. Another planetoid. No, not a minute detected. We need teleporters, instead of having to send down a shuttle every time. A millennia ago, when the planet had liquid water, alluvial process concentrated urethium deposits in some small area on the planet's surface. The survey team collects them with no risk of mo and modest effort. Either the races of this region do not value urethium, or they lack the ability to detect surface deposit anomalies from orbit. Yeah, probably lack the, the, lack the abilities. See, let's fly by the sun here real quick so make sure we get it yeah okay yeah we definitely got close enough to scan it now we finally have two choices either to go up or down which i'm gonna guess that this one will probably lead us down here be here and this will lead up over here so this is probably more like um saudi territory and clitic territory down over here i'm gonna guess i have no idea i might play completely split and tons of nonsense nonsense out my backside but we're gonna go up here and we're finally starting to be able to be in a wider area. Oh, another cargo ship. Sorry, cargo ship, but you have to go bye bye. There we go. Press X the survey scans. No surface anomalies were detected. And we'll come on over. Well, let's see. Where's the closest one? 270 to the sun. Let's go fly by their sun to see if we get any research data from flying by their sun. Uh, flying straight through their sun and taking some damage. <laughs> All right. We'll fly up over here. And any research? Anomaly. 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 Yes. Near the base of the awesome peaks of this world, the team finds the source of the anomaly, reading some modest deposits of titanium. The team thanks their, uh, thanks their start stars that deposits were higher up, given that some of the, those peaks are oh, over 30 kilometers high. That's nice. Not that I have a clue how many kilometers is, because I do miles. <laughs> but so that's like 20 miles high, around 20, 25 miles high. Uh, we wish to make amends? No. Okay. And you are getting smashed. Yes, you get smashed. And I just take you. Take the damage you're smashing it. Oh, you're gonna try to run now, are you? Hey, this planet's rings are not too, un not too unusual, although their orbital velocity is lower than their mass density would predict. Curious. Ah. Oh, I thought we gained something from destroying them. Thought we got maybe some technology or something. Surface landing is impossible. All right. Now, now let's come on over here. So we've got 14. Ah, nominally detected. The team sets the lander down at the end of the ec uh, end of the box canyon, filled with crystal cleared pools and lust flora. A sinkhole at the bottom of the one pool opens into a network of tunnels. The anomaly detected from orbit is likely somewhere within. Send a team member down to d in a dive suit. Uh. Uh. He's gonna die, aren't you? 
dons a dive suit, does a radio check, and ascends down through the sinkhole. Oh, gosh. The team member really is in that he is in a maze of caves and chambers with tunnels tunnels that lead off in multiple directions. Ah! I think we've actually lost this guy. I didn't remember where we went. So they went, they went off to the west. So if I hiked him back, seems like radioactive science. He emerges from the sinkhole. They excitedly report discovery. The remains a bipedal creature in an environmental suit, probably an alien explorer who became lost in underwater mazes and drowned. Unfortunate explorer remains have been in the water too long to identify its species, but it was carrying some very interesting gear that yields valuable data. One device apparently communicator seems tuned to a standard Starcom survey channel. Very odd. Oh. <gasps> I'm surprised my dude didn't die. It's only a miracle. Because I got him lost in there. <laughs> And it was no, no, by no, no ability of my own, that's for sure. All right, so we can either go into that one, which will probably take us to there, or we can come over here. Let's fly over here. I guess eventually we'll get so fast that we'll be able to fly across space pretty fast. Open space map. Oh, we're pretty far away from the system. So let's come on over here. Come on. All right, there's a planetoid or something. Blue. Have we run into something blue before? Ah, yes. Hey. No, it's not blue. I don't know. Oh, yes, a blue is a habitable planet. Oh, no, red is a... Blue green is a habitable planet, ain't it? No surface anomaly detected. Well, that's boring. Let's come on over here. Oh, blue ship. Unknown trader. Another species. Oh wow, you look cool, dude. The water was were warm and the plutonium swam into our mouths when we Urpu first met you. They were delicious. By what name are you known? Are you asking who we are? I am Lord Mad Dog of Starcom. We were pulled into the reason space by space drift. Are you threatening to eat me? We don't like take kindly to threats. How strange the way you come to these undeep waters. We had not seen your kind, but you gave us gifts and we tried to help. Oh, so I guess they ran into somebody else of us already. If you can help us, maybe we'll give you something in return. What time gifts did we give you? We did not remember this part of our story. You filled in the gaps. It was the story, not the words that mattered then. 10 gold. Ah, we gave you a piece of a fallen star and the star start our o and the start of our story. Things for, for things, things for knowledge. What do we do when we swam together? Things for things, things for knowledge. Things for knowledge. What stories did we tell? A story from the undeep. 87 plat available. For eight, all set on stories. Thank you. Things for things? Oh, wow. So they want, 
Oh, they'll give us platinum. I guess platinum is the is the the universal thing of money here. So I don't have a lot of resources. Yeah, I don't have very many resources. Oh wait. Uh, right now, I don't know what I need for resources. This may be helpful later, but not for now. All for now. Oh, 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 sorry. Did I just lose a part? No, I didn't lose a part of my ship. Okay, that was close. I hate when that happens. Neutral. Oh, I, nope. You have fouled our spawn bubble with your thrashings. Had you learnt, we cannot tell. Do you give us gift of peace? We do not recall. You had learned nothing but how to stir in mud, make bubbles. Uh oh. Dang it. I just lost 10 gold. Dang, that sucks. I didn't mean to bounce into him. No anomalies detected. No, don't run into me again. Come on. Stop running right in front of me. In cool waters, we saw you again. Our story was turning. Things for things. All for now. In Ica's mix of high and low tech, a triangular object composed of rare metals sits atop a worn stone dais. A pale blue light seems to emanate from it, but the actual source is hard to pinpoint. A quick scan shows that it composed of adamantite and titanium and was constructed using technologies in advanced of our own. Take it apart, materials, and analyze. Bring it aboard the ship for research lab to examine. Ah! As soon as the team engineer touches the object, it's crackling sound to flash the light. The team glances around, dazed. The artifact engineer and the closest survey member have vanished. Search turns up nothing. Minus two crew. Ouch! Well, that sucks. Wait, can I retry? I didn't want to disassemble it. I guess it's period it. <laughs> No, that sucks. Ah, hidden deep rocky valley. The survey found an abandoned prospect outpost. Whoever mined here before harvest most of the ore, but the lander's lasers were able to access some deposits left behind before turning the, to the kitty cat. Returning to the kitty cat. Okay. Now... We've explored this area, and it doesn't actually have a teleporter. So we can either go back down or keep going up. Well, we know that... We know that... Oh, wait. There's a star down here. Something down here. Wow. This is big. Let's, uh... I guess we got to go back over this direction? Yep, yeah, for sure. I'm going to go ahead and cut to them all back because I can take a while to get back there. All right, we've come back now and I've decided that we're actually going to go down south, I think. We're going to use this one instead of the other one that we were at momentarily ago. Oh, and more enemies. Yes, because I figure that uh, more enemies mean more resources and I'd rather not have to interact with other uh, um, other races as of yet because that's a lot of reading and also a probably you know giving and taking of resources or you know like we did and then I don't want to get into a situation where we don't have the resources to speak nicely to them or something like that so we're gonna need to gather up a little bit more resources beforehand hey rock whoa rockets oh, oh wow okay rockets can we get rockets Darn. 
that he did this amount of damage to us. No, we're starting to fight bigger, heavier dudes. Hit him, 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 hit him. Uh oh, I'm taking these amount of damage. There we go. Well, we're getting these amount of resources too, though. Well, titanium at least. I'm gonna need probably need to put some armor or something on. Half life. Wow. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure I want to go through the teleporter any now. That uh, hit, he hit me with some type of missile. Well, let's go. Let's hopefully we don't fight too many enemies. That was probably dumb. Ah, nothing here. No enemies yet. That's good. 200 death distraction. <laughs> let's uh, take this. See, let's see here. Uh, planetoid. Anomaly. Anomaly. Oh, our planetoid scattered across the platinum. Yes, yes, we've seen that one. Not bad. Yeah, let's fly through the sun. Oh, wait. Nope. Here's the... Oh, an enemy. Well, hopefully... Well, it's just one. We should be fine. Let's fly towards the sun to make sure we grab that first. Then we'll take care of the... Oh, no, 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 get out of the sun. Just took a decent amount of damage. Didn't need to. All right. And scan. No surface anomalies detected. And there's another enemy on top of that enemy. Hmm. Well, we're getting back. We're pretty, almost back to life, so we should be fine. Ooh. Outpost, hostile. Oh, it's got missiles. Somebody else has got missiles. Oh, that guy's got missiles. Gotta zoom out and go to go do that. Let my energy rebuild here real quick. And yep, the missiles fired. Can I take out the missiles? Oh no, I can't take out the missiles. I thought I was shot him before. That was dumb. I just sat right there and let the missile smell right into me. Oof. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh I did a decent amount of damage to myself. Uh-oh, uh-oh. No, 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 no. Ooh, no, no, no. Did I just lose some hearts? I think I did. Come on, take this guy out. self illuminating bright light. Okay. self illuminating bright lights of the comet seems to come from a novel phenomenon r related to the cosmic effect generated between off-gassing particles. We should be able to look out the variant colors of these for more data. A hundred resource patterns. Wow! Um, but I'm about ready to blow up. I didn't lose anything. I did lose some crew. <laughs> That's bad. But those missile guys are bad news. <laughs> Can I take you out? This should be pretty easy. And you only got a couple. No, you're hitting me. You're hitting me. Don't hit me. Oops, out of range. And come on, dude. Gotcha. Woo. Don't want to fight another one of those big guys yet. Here we go. Scan this. Survey for anomalies. We need to get more people. Scanners were unable to detect any indigenous life on the arid rocky how world, but a high plateau uh, is riddled with tunnels. They do not appear to be the result of natural ge geographic activity. As the team approaches one of the tunnel openings, faint metal rat rattlings can be heard. Mining equipment just inside the entrance appears to be click click organ. Send the team into the tunnel. Yay! The team quietly moves through the tunnels, freezing any time the sound is heard. Eventually, they come across what appears to be an empty ore processing chamber. A large quantity of pro 
processed titanium ore is left unguarded in the hover cart. All right, so let's keep searching the tunnels. The team moves through the tunnels. They become aware of increased movement. Stick, sticking to the quieter small tunnels, they're able to grab modern amount of titanium. Keep searching tunnels. You're going to end up losing people. As the team moves through the tunnels, they could become aware of increased movement. Sticking to the quieter tunnels, they're, they're able to grab modern amount of titanium ore. Keep searching the tunnels. Uh, yeah, I knew I was going to end up losing somebody. The team finds a cafe of titanium ore at the end of the tunnel. As they gather up the ore, a group of cookbook workers surprise them and surround the alarm. The team rushes back to the surface towards the lander as a click click armed with laser mining lasers open fire. Ah. Well, we got a decent amount of titanium, and now I'm out of people. I am really out of people. I'm going to have to return. We're going to do this last research over here. And then we're going to go ahead and um, return to base. But that's, that's all we, I think will pretty much be all we have time for, too, as well. Let's get scan that. No anomalies detected. All right. So uh, off screen, I'm going to go ahead and return back to base to get more people and to go ahead and use up the research points we have. And... Uh, but I believe that's all we have time for today. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you have, like, shares, and comments. And definitely don't forget to subscribe. Lord Mad Dog, signing off.